himself. All right, we have Lily White Lane here. How you doing, mate? Not the greatest off that, if I'm being honest, but um, mm. yeah, we move. Yeah. yeah, we move on, don't we? We move on. I mean, how did you see that game? I mean, it's a, it was a weird one because I thought we were set up quite well at the beginning. I thought we looked like we could uh, soak up a bit of pressure and hit them on the counter-attack. But uh, once that first goal went in, it just the heads dropped a little bit and we just I, I never saw us getting back into it. How did you see it? Look, I think our shape heading into the game, I think our shape was absolutely mm. sound. I think, you know, we lined up and played the right way to start the game off. Mm. But it eventually turned into City just absolutely mauling us. And for me, mm. at the end of the day, City were the better team. Obviously, they put three goals past us. But mm. once again, it's individual mistakes that come to cost us. And it's really, really frustrating that once mm. again, individual mistakes come to cost us. Because it's the same thing every single game and I'm getting a bit sick and tired of it honestly and I don't see how you can blame Jose Mourinho after a loss like that because for me right you look at Jose Mourinho he's a manager one of the most successful managers in the history of football 26 trophies right and the issue is with this team he's come to Tottenham Hotspur who not being funny here we have one of the worst defenses in the league if you ask me we want to go and be in contention for the league title we want to contend for top four this season, yet we have Davidson, Sanchez and Dyer playing at the back. He's tried everything, Mourinho. He's tried to play expansive and attacking football. We lose. He's tried to play defensive football. We concede. And at the end of the day, it's our defence who constantly lets us down. And I feel bad for the players who want to go out there and actually give it the rule. The likes of Lamella, Kane, even Sonny. Sonny kind of let me down today, but I'll let him off because mm. it's Sonny. He, all, he rarely mm. disappoints. But it's the same issue once again. And it's investment for me. It's investment from this board. And it's this manager not being back with the players that he wants in the January transfer window. He wanted a new centre-half, whether it be Skriniar or Milankovic. And he wanted a new central attacking midfielder, someone creative in that midfield line. And what did he get? Absolutely no one. So I'm a bit sick of it. And I think if we were sitting here right now with a new centre-half, we'd be talking about a Tottenham win. Oh, you think we'd have won today? If we had a new centre half and if our board actually invested in us in the January transfer window, yeah, I honestly you really do think okay, we, yeah. we, we, we have good enough players, right? We have good enough players, the likes of Harry Kane, Hyung mm. Son up top, but defensively is simply not good enough, especially Regulon now. Like, I didn't realise how big of a miss Regulon actually is until he did get injured, and it goes to show Davies got spun like a roundabout today. Every single time <laughs> someone, every single time someone attacked him, and it was really, really clever from Pep Guardiola to actually put Sterling on the left hand side and go for Ben Davies because it was clear to see that Tanganga was dealing with him. Tanganga always had him marked. Tanganga ne never let him go, and. Once he moves him over to Ben Davies, he just gets spun and easily gets into yeah. the box. And it's individual mistakes which come to cost us. So if we had a new centre-half, right, two new centre-halves, yeah. I honestly think we could have went out there and got something out of this game, whether we won it or draw it. I honestly think mm -hmm. if we had that investment really? and new defenders, we could have got something out of this game. Because once again, right, mm -hmm. it's issues that come to cost us with this manager is not being back to the players that he wants by this board. And... It is the same with Pochettino. When Pochettino was manager, you can go back and look at some of his press conferences. In his managerial press conferences, he said, you might as well call me a coach because he wasn't backed with the best players that he wants. He wasn't backed with the top players that he wants because our board tend to go for the second best and the cheaper option. And I'm a bit sick of it, but we move on to West Ham next weekend, yeah. I believe. And um, you just got to look at it from a positive standpoint, but it's really, really hard to be positive after a result like that. Yeah, definitely. definitely. No, you make really good points. I mean, we've had a few calls on before saying, you know, it comes from the top down. The issues always have to come from the uh, the executive managers down to the managers down to the, you know, playing, the, the, you know, players. So I totally hear you on that. I mean, this is an ongoing issue that we've had for, well, it's actually for decades, not just <laughs> not just under Jose Mourinho. So uh, and I don't know when that's ever going to end, you know, um, unless there's big big changes at the, at the very top level. So, yeah, that's always going to continue. But, yeah, it's sad, really, isn't it? I mean, I, I personally don't think Kane or Son had a good game today either. You know, I know you, they are superstars, but they didn't perform well today. I thought the shape looked OK to begin with, but, um, you know, and Lamella and Moore were try, trying to take all the risks. But then by, by them being the ones that took all the risks, they were the ones that were get, get scapegoated for making mistakes. So it was a bit of a tough one today. I, I do think you're right. I think Man City were the, the much better team. 
I still think we'd have lost even with a better defender personally, but I hear, I hear you on that point, brother. But anyway, uh, yeah, we go forward. We go to the West Ham game. I really hope we get something out of that game. We can we can salvage the season, you know. And uh, any final comments, any final words, anything positive? Can we can, can we hold some positivity going forward? Look, if you got to look at it from a positive standpoint, as what we saw in that Everton game, we lost it, but we saw attacking football. And I've got to admit, right, yeah. when it comes to up top, we there is a little more creativity. And I honestly think... Yeah. You know, with Todd Klein being appointed chief executive and kind of helping out with finding a new stadium branding name, this summer transfer window is absolutely massive for whoever's manager, whether it's Jose Mourinho or someone else. The summer window is absolutely huge because we're going to have to find Hugo's long-term replacement, Toby's long-term replacement. We're going to have to find some big, big players in this summer window. I honestly think our board will back whoever's manager in the summer transfer window. So I'm just really hoping that. And Spurs fans, you know, keep your head high. We move on to West Ham. We're going to thrash West Ham. You've got to look at it as a positive <laughs> standpoint. We're going to thrash West Ham. We're going to do well. We're going to win the Europa League. And, you know, people are talking like the season's over. It's a crushing defeat. But honestly, I didn't expect us to beat Manchester City. They're top of the league. Manchester exactly. City, I think, 16 games unbeaten now. But... I didn't expect us to win this game, but you've got to look at us. We're still in, what, three competitions. We're in one final. We're in the Europa League. And getting knocked out of the FA Cup's going. But I honestly think we can go for that Europa League. I think if we want to get Champions League football, the Europa League has to be our priority. But it's been a pleasure coming on. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot, Lily White. Yeah, and um, do you want to tell people about your channel? Yes, yeah, so I've got my own channel on YouTube, Lily White Lane, all kinds of Tottenham Hotspur content, previews, reviews, the whole shebang. So you'd be doing me a massive, massive favour by going and dropping a sub on my channel and supporting me. And as I say, it's been a pleasure to come on. And uh, yeah, thank you. Pleasure to have you on, mate. Take care. Speak to you soon, hopefully. Yeah? Yes. Cheers, mate.